Carpentry and me in sunny Dunedin. So the reason I nail my plates together when I mark them out is so they don't warp and it um, keeps them together in case they don't get made for a while. So there's going to be a wall coming off this so we create a corner by doing block, block and then a stud. And there'll be another stud here and that creates our corner. So when marking blocks I just use my ruler because it's 45. Some people like to use a block of timber. Like Sean's using one over there now for marking out. So when you're doing your 600 centers or 400 centers, the rules are pretty much the same. If you're gonna um, be running your sheets vertical, you don't want your joining stud on the edge of a window or on top of a window, you want it sort of in the center. It just helps with the cracking. So, what you do to get your centers is if this was the edge, you just put the tape on, and you go 622, 1222, and so on, they'd get 600 centers, or 422, 822, 1222. But because I've got the good rule, I'll just mark 622 from the corner that we had. I can just go 600 from this line. The reason we don't go 600 from a corner and we go 622 is because when we get to our sheet, we want that stud, the center of the stud, to be the center of our sheet. And if we went 600, what would happen is the stud and the sheet would end up on the same line. So that's why we go 622, and then from there, 600 centers, like so. So the other thing to take note of when you're marking out um, around windows or doors is what the finish is, whether it's architraves or arch frame. Because we've got arch frame, you definitely have to join over the window. Um, oh, otherwise it's just not gonna work. When you wanna get an accurate measurement, I put my 100 on the line that I'm measuring from and then you just got to remember to add it at the other end. So I wanted 8.45 and I've put in 9.45. So JS stands for jack stud and that's our trimmer stud. Um, the windows are meant to be 800 wide, the actual window. So we make this 8.20 and that gives it 10 mil of packing each side and then enough room to put the foam in and silicon. Well, Craig tried the high coke, so I'll smash it out with the tesla. Always keep your rounds the same way up, makes straightening easy. You don't need that with the high cokey. <laughs>